Hi, Zach. Dr. O, hey. You're in a video game. Correct. Cryonics is the practice of freezing a body for possible rejuvenation or reconstruction at a future date. Freeze you now, so some future genius figures out how to unfreeze you later. Got it. Right. Today it's estimated that there are about 300 Americans and a handful of animals in cryonic preservation. Like dogs, maybe? To illustrate the process, let's meet our next cryonic client, Matthew. <gasps> Matt, you're a video game guy now. Cool. Hi, Zach. First, the subject has to die of natural causes. Oh, crap. Oh, OK. He's dead. All right. Uh, wait, but if Matt's already dead, that means that in the future they'll have to unfreeze him but also unkill him? That is correct. Why can't they just freeze him while he's still alive? Because that's murder, Zachary. Oh, right. After Matt dies, his chosen cryonics company might send a response team to put his dead body on ice and transport him to a facility. Cold, cold, cold. However, there are cases where that cadaver can sit for days or weeks before reaching that facility. I'm sure he'll be fine. So what's next? They just chuck the bodies in a big freezer or what? Normal freezing would cause the water in the dead bodies to expand and burst the cell's membranes. So instead, they use a glycerin-based substance to preserve the body without freezing it. Look, I gotta say, this all sounds pretty sciencey so far. I mean, maybe Matt made the right choice. Unfortunately, the glycerin chilling doesn't work on most body organs. So they gotta unfreeze him, unkill him, and reorgan him? Huh, okay. Problem, I guess. Right. Hey, what's all this gonna set Matt back, anyway? The standard price for full body cryopreservation is $200,000. Ooh. But there is an $80,000 option called Neuro. Neuro, Neuro. I think Matt would want Neuro. Whoa, he just got decapitated, oh lord. Short for Neuro separation, they remove Matt's head and place it in a vat of liquid nitrogen. No, no, no. Okay, so when they bring him back, they unfreeze him, unkill him, reorgan him, and recapitate him? Huh. Right. Assuming that after hundreds or thousands of years, the company Matt signed up with didn't go bankrupt. But even if that happens, I'm sure someone will want to bring him back. I mean, Matt's a good guy. But maybe whoever brings Matt back isn't a good guy. <laughs> maybe they bring Matt back as a museum oddity. Maybe they'll take his head, shrink it down, and stick him into a rich man's ball sack. Or maybe Matt does come back, but everyone he knows is gone, and he can't relate to anyone who is alive. What would life even be as a lonely head rolling around a world that forgot him? Wow, good point. Or what if in the future, heads are ammo and he's fired out of a laser cannon? No! Go, man! Throughout history, humanity's great inventions have kept the embers of progress burning. Now, a new flame of innovation has been lit. This robot bomb hookah sort of thing. Hello. I'm gonna take you boys on a ride. It's time to get high on science. Did you see that? The ancient Egyptians invented toothpaste. Trees eat salmon? Thirsty for more? Hell yes! Hang on! No! Sharks are older than trees and the rings of Saturn. Lava tubes on the moon? We don't know if they had any kind of monetary system. Can I Venmo you? Venmo? Oh, I should have taken that job with Bill Nye. Oh. 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 They're just like idiots. Yeah. If I can impart the secrets of the universe to these two, surely I can do it to you on high science.